So this is part two. Once again, just make sure to check your units on whenever you're given a graph. And the question is, what is the magnitude of the fly's position vector at A? So you have to remember that magnitude is the absolute value. So it will always be positive. Magnitude will always be positive. So always try to predict your answer. So we know that um, this, this answer we're going to get will be positive and the units will be in meters. Um, it's always good to predict your answer um, because it'll help you prevent careless mistakes. All right, so then we just, we have it. Uh, because we said that in the last part, we said x component is two, uh, y component is one. So I drew that little triangle. And then we just use a simple Pythagorean theorem. So we plug it in and we have two squared plus one squared uh, equals z squared, five equals z squared, square root that, uh, square root equals z, and you get 2.24. Now remember, always check, um, it will be positive. It'll have three sig figs because that's the common sig fig number unless they tell you otherwise. Um, and finally, the units. Units will be in meters, like I said in the beginning. And uh, yeah, that's it. I hope that helped and thanks for watching.